have that fabulous Southern auction going on. And it's closing at 7, right? So once you get over there, start looking at some of the, some of the great items. But it is going to be closing at 7, so grab those items. And we also have a raffle that is also going on. So I can't run. Yes, man. No. This uh, lovely gentleman over here, the white shorts and kilts, buy your raffle tickets now. If you like alcohol, he's your man. There you go. There you go. Well, welcome everybody back. Uh, this is kind of Act Two. Uh, my name is Joe Seiler. I'm Ken Anderson. Yes, and we are here from Reef. And once again, we moved here about 10 days ago. And we're so thrilled to have this wonderful welcome here uh, on behalf of Reef. Uh, our, our charity, and we, we are looking forward to many, many, many more events uh, for helping out the uh, local uh, community. Um, so, we, uh, let me pitch you just for a sec, just for a sec. There are two guys who uh, have this beautiful house, who happen to uh, did a lot of work, and they've given back to so many, many people in need over the years, and they're continuing to do that. Um, so we have a little surprise for them. We want to bring up Chuck and Mickey. Chuck and Mickey, come on up. Chuck and Mickey, you have such big hearts. You are amazing people. You become great friends. I can't tell you how much we love getting to know you and becoming friends and what you do for the community. So we have a little uh, award here. We have a heart here. We'd like to recognize you with the uh, Reef's Recognition Award for all your support, community, for being fabulous host. Yes. That's a very great applause. Photo op, heavy award. You get a very heavy award. I don't have much to say, I don't have to say. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So now we're going to really have to have people's attention. How many day times do Broadway uh, stars show up at the park? All right. So the reality is we have two fabulous performers. Uh, we've worked with them since they were literally children, right? Okay, so, so we work with them since they were little children. They've been doing our events uh, in, in San Francisco for many, many years. David Burnham, uh, the gorgeous David Burnham is here with us tonight. He uh, starred in Wicked on Broadway as a lead in Wicked. He also is in the light of the Oxa on Broadway and many, many other, sh many, many other shows. He's absolutely awesome. And the fabulous Lisa Roman. Uh, and Lisa Roman uh, starred as Christine in The Phantom of the Opera in San Francisco for many, many years, on Broadway for many, many years. And uh, she is absolutely incredible. She actually did our first ever Help Us on the Way event in San Francisco in 1995. She was a small child. She was seven. That's seven. Now, Lisa. We were trying to count up the amount of times that Lisa actually sang the role of Christine. Now, originally, I thought she said, what was it, 260,000 times? But she was like, no, I need a walker for that. So it was 2,600 times Lisa has hit that high note, all right? And we are absolutely blessed. She is a sweetheart and one of the most talented people I have ever met. Everybody be quiet because you are in for a fabulous show. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Miss Lisa Broman. Okay, you can have that one. It's my mic. Okay, thank you. Be gone. You have no power here. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, the sound of music. Didn't everyone want to be Julie Andrews? Oh, yeah. Yeah. In The Sound of Music. Because I, for one, love calling men captain. Does anybody else? <laughs> Thanks for laughing. <laughs> it's pandemic was a little bit of a break for us as singers. And I'm here with my friend Chip Prince, the amazing. 
he, we toured together with Les Mis years and years ago. You can Google it, no one can hide. He is amazing, I'm so happy he's here. But every time now, it's, it's not lost on me that it's precious what we do and precious what you do, precious to be here at all. But sometimes it makes me a little nervous. What will this day be like, I wonder? What will my future be, I wonder? It could be so exciting to be out in the world, to be free. My heart should be wildly rejoicing. Oh, what's the matter with me? I've always longed for adventure, to do the things I've never done. So here I'm facing adventure. So why am I so scared? Another opening, another show in Philly, Boston, or Mirage. Rancho. A chance for stage folks to say hello. Hello. Oh gosh, you've already had a couple of drinks. You can do far better than that. Hello. Jump like Esther Williams.
shoes you got the red shoes <laughs> exactly oh I'm so happy to be here Palm Springs I'm so happy to be here today after two years of mask wearing and all that, it is so nice to be free of no masks actually singing to you guys live and in person today and um, boy those classics Lisa I love the classics thank you for doing Rogers and Hammerstein and what, Cole Porter was in there, all that. It's amazing. You guys like the classics, yes? Yes, me too. Um, I'm gonna do a little song that was written by Anthony Newley and Leslie Brickus uh, for a show called uh, The Smell of the Grease Paint, The Roar of the Crowd. That big hit that we all <laughs> know. No, but it's, it actually had lots of fantastic music. Um, so it kind of just says what I'm feeling today. Birds flying high You know how I feel I see that now yeah. Sun in the sky You know how I feel Breeze drifting on by Literally You know how I feel It's a new day It's a new dawn It's a new life in the sea, you know how I feel, river running free, oh you know how I feel, blossom on the tree, you know I feel, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life.
This is your props. Thank you. 
translation would be found. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 That, that was in French. That no. was in French. It was really good. All right. Here we go. There we go. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm through it playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too late for a second scene. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instincts. Close my eyes and leave. Just what I did. I leapt into the Broadway cast of Steven Schwartz's Wicked. Do we have any Wicked fans out there? Because I wanted to do a scene. Yes, and I got to play the role of Fiero for a year, for a year on Broadway. And even cooler than that, I got to create the role of Fiero in all the original workshops of the production, which was really, really an exciting and um, amazing experience. And I like to do research on all the characters that I play, and certainly Fiero was no different. Although I realized I'd actually been doing research on this guy ever since I was five years old. Only when I was five years old, the character was not called Fiero. He was simply known as Scarecrow. I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain.
can do that with this. Anyone? Anyone? It's my turn. Right back after this. Let's do something, um, I don't know, familiar. something familiar, maybe something you're very familiar with. Yeah, yeah. you are too. Have you seen this before? We have. We found a recreated. Steve Cannell, uh, tell us a little bit about what you have in mind 
Okay, so our party on October 8th is going to be Hollywood Magic. And we have a special performer. One minute. So he'll be performing and we have some surprises coming up. We'll communicate it between uh, the beneficiaries for our event is called Sanctuary Plus Springs. How many people are There's 1.6 million youth that are homeless on the streets. 40% of them are LGBTQ+. Sanctuary in Palm Springs and throughout the whole valley is a transitional housing program that specifically is designed to help LGBTQ+. 18 to 21 year olds to come get skill training, educational services, resources, a safe place to live, not on the street, as well as caring, love, and respect. What they don't get a lot of times in their foster homes. So that's the beauty of um, sanctuary. So we hope you can come. We have an incentive for you to buy a ticket tonight. If you buy a ticket tonight to come to the October event, you'll get a free bottle of Kettle One. I heard that rumor. Um, so it's over there. It's over in the house somewhere, and you sign up, you'll be able to come. In the meantime, definitely do some research, look at the Sanctuary. Uh, it's a great organization. Party. And we live two blocks away. We're part of outside the way. Awesome. What he said. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. So the auction is going to close in ten minutes. So if you haven't shopped yet, and you want to, you've got some great bids going, and you want to protect your purchase, get over there. All the money from the auction also goes to support the Cathedral Center, cent, City Center. And one <laughs> more quick, one more quick Two thing. CCs. One more quick thing. Let me catch you, please. Hey, one more you? quick thing. This whole thing is about friends. It's about friends coming together and volunteer. We're volunteers. Uh, we've been doing it for 27 years. The reality is, it's really about a community giving back. We all have been given a lot, right? And this is a way to give back and have a whole lot of fun. If you like what you saw today, if you want to be involved, if you want to donate to the auction, if you want to be on a committee, if you have a fabulous house, right, that's got the right set up to see these fabulous performers that we will bring, uh, please come see us for next year. We're setting up house parties, but we have a couple of more coming up. We have Stephen Bonds, and we have a fabulous gift. Anybody here gay, by the way? I didn't know this. All right. Anybody here gay? It's going to be a big, big pride party up on the hill right over the corner right now. A gorgeous uh, pride party. So with your support, help is on the way. That's the name of our show. That's our theme. Thank you so much. Stick around, have some cocktails, get to that auction, bid up, and help the senior center. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> Press. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you need? Uh, with Jeff and Vic? Of course I do. Or Gia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>